hi everyone this is mike with herbert abs with another learning series video in this clip i'll be going over our direct damage stability or dds module within cargomax the dds calculations are a requirement for many vessels primarily those carrying oil or gas cargoes the dds module is designed to systematically check a given loading condition against every applicable damage scenario and to prove adherence to the regulations typically marpol ibc or igc the DDS status in Cargomax appears in a few locations. There is a dam stab button in our main ribbon bar, which can show the status, a dam stab assessment alarm in the alarm summary, as well as a damage stability assessment section of the trim and stability summary also. The first thing to note is that not all conditions require checking DDS. In the condition I am showing now, which is a ballast condition without any oil cargo, I see that my dam stab button is grayed out and NA, and the alarms and trim and stability summary sections indicate that DDS is not required for this condition. However, once I change to an oil, change to an oil carrying condition, let's say by emptying the number three ballast tanks and filling the number three cargo tanks, Those DDS indications change. I now see my button in the ribbon is red and my alarm summary and trim and stability summary are also showing red alarms indicating that the DDS calculations have not been run. To run the DDS calculations, simply press the button in the ribbon bar. Because there are typically a large number of damage conditions to calculate, the DDS module is designed to be run on demand if I leave my mouse over the button in the ribbon bar, I can see an indication of the calculation status. For this vessel, we see that the DDS is going through 275 damage cases. While the DDS calculations are running, you can see the alarm update regularly with the status as well. Once the DDS run is complete, we get a final pass-fail assessment as well as a brief period where the DDS reports are generated. I can now see that the ribbon bar button is green, the alarm is showing pass, and the TNS summary section also shows a pass. Beyond the obvious pass-fail indications, there are two primary ways to view the details of the DDS calculations. The first is through printing DDS summary reports, which can be accessed through the File, Print Damage Stab Assessment Reports menu. These are pre-formatted reports used to display summary data, including a legend page and a large one-line summary table for each damage case. We also have a worst case list, which will pull the damage cases that were considered the worst cases, typically each case that comes closest to failing one of the damage stability requirements. Finally, we can view the details of individual damage cases through the Apply Regulatory Damage Case menu. This will bring up a damage case selector screen, which will show a graphical representation of each damage case. Note that you can pick one or more cases simply by clicking on the case to toggle it on or off, or by clicking the Select Worst Cases button to pick those cases specifically. In this case, I'll choose the worst cases for now, and when I press OK, I will have access to those damage cases to investigate in CargoMax directly. I have the condition picker in the upper right corner, and I can select one of those cases to investigate further. I can look at my damage stability writing arm curve and the evaluation against the appropriate criteria, in this case, the IBC code. I can look at the damage summary and see the amount of flooding and a before and after comparison of the intact and damaged conditions. Finally, to clear the damage cases and return CargoMax to normal operation, the easiest way is to select the menu Tools, Remove All Extra Analysis Conditions. That's the end of this section. In part two, we'll investigate conditions where the DDS calculations are showing failures and how to interpret and address them. Thanks for watching this learning video. 
For more information, please visit us at www.herbert-abs.com or email us at info at herbert-abs.com.